fine, 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 fine. Sorry, had a dream last night that the world stopped turning, but your madness it kept on. Guess I wasn't too bright, and I really wasn't learning. Should have seen it all along. For this look, I'm going to be using all drugstore makeup and I'm also going to be using some affordable makeup brushes. This brush set is from Vanity Planet and I will only be using brushes from this set. And this set includes 15 pieces with synthetic soft bristles and pretty much has everything you need for a smooth streak-free application of dry cream or liquid products. And I contacted the company and they are giving me a coupon code for you guys for 70% off which is going to get you this brush set for only 30 bucks. So I'm gonna start off by taking the flat top stippling brush and I'm going to be using that to apply my foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Circa Color Balance and I got this foundation at Walgreens. I am in color one. And this is a medium to full coverage foundation. I like to stipple the product onto my skin and this brush just does a beautiful job at creating a poreless, flawless finish and you get the most out of this foundation, I feel, with a brush like this. Next, I'm going to brighten my face a bit using the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain and I'm just going to put this on the cheeks, around my mouth, and on my forehead. And I'm going to be using the liquid foundation brush to blend out my concealer on my cheeks and on my forehead. I love the control that I have with this brush and it just blends out effortlessly. And you'll see that I do not use swiping motions. I like to pat and push the product into my skin and that is going to give you the best flawless finish. So after I blend it out on my cheeks and forehead, I'm gonna go back in with that flat top stippling brush and blend the concealer around my mouth. Again, pushing and stippling. Taking my Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Pressed Powder in Translucent, I'm going to apply that with the powder slash blush brush, and I'm just going to, again, press that into my skin and set that foundation. And these brushes are super soft, especially this one, I love it. And these brushes are cruelty-free. Taking my favorite contour palette from the drugstore, this is Maybelline's Master Contour Kit, and I'm gonna take the angled contour brush, and I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones. I'm super picky when it comes to my contour brushes, and I really, really like this one. It blends the product out perfectly. If you have a larger forehead, you can contour the perimeter of the forehead. I am just going to contour uh, my temples, and I'm also going to hit my jawline as well. Next, I'm going to add some color back into my face and I'm going to pick up that blush that is in that same palette and I'm going to be using the same brush uh, that I used to contour my cheeks and I absolutely love, love, love this blush in this palette. It's one of my favorite blushes. Next, I'm going to take my large fan brush and I'm going to pick up that highlight in the same palette and I'm going to wisp that on the highest point of my cheekbones. I love this fan brush, and I also love using this fan brush to knock off any excess powder, especially when you're baking. Now I'm going to contour my nose, and I'm actually going to be using the concealer brush. Now this brush is great for concealing like a concentrated area, but I also love it for my nose because it just fits this area perfectly, and I feel like I have lots of control when I use this brush Lately it has been my favorite brush for contouring my nose and it's easy to overdo the nose and with this brush I feel like it prevents overdoing the nose. Time for brows. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. eyeliner in Coffee and I'm gonna take this angled lining brush. This brush is great for precise lining, whether it be eyeliner, eyeshadow, and of course, brows. So I'm just going to fill my brows in here. I'm not gonna get too detailed. I will do a separate brow tutorial soon. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Circa Champagne Beach Powder Bronzer, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow, along with this Medium Blender Brush. And I'm just gonna pop that in the crease and I'm going to blend out any harsh edges. Love, love, love this brush for the crease. Next, I'm going to take this Circa Eyeshadow Palette in Ultra Ego, and I have to say, these eyeshadows are super impressive. I'm going to be applying my highlight with the Smudger Brush, and this is my favorite brush to apply my brow bone highlight. It just fits perfectly in this small area. 
Next, I'm going to take the large domed shader and I'm going to pick up that shadow that is in the middle and I'm just going to pack that on the inner lid and blend it outward towards the center. Next, I'm gonna go in with the crease shader brush and I'm gonna pick up that darkest shadow in the palette and I'm just going to work this in the outer crease and lid, creating a V-like shape and I really like this brush for controlled eyeshadow application. So you want to concentrate the darkest part on the outer lid and then with whatever's left, you wanna to blend towards the center for a seamless look. Taking the same brush I used to apply my highlight to my brow bone, I'm going to hit the inner corners of my eyes. Next, I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in purple and I'm going to smudge that on my lower lash line. And that is going to be our base for this Circa eyeshadow in Rebellious. This is a gorgeous shade, super pigmented. And I'm going to apply that with the Precision Concealer Brush. Again, you can use this for concealer and you can also use it for shadow. And I'm just going to pack that on top of our base and just smudge it out. And I'm going to take Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. This is my favorite drugstore liquid liner good stuff and I'm just going to create a very simple winged liner and I'm going to line my wing up with that purple eyeshadow on the bottom and I love this eyeliner because you have lots of control with the tip. Next I'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore mascara which is the Jordana Best Lash and I'm just going to apply a light coat because I'm going to apply some falsies. And I'm using Coco Lashes in the style Misha which are my favorite as of right now, I love them. And I just apply some mascara to my roots, um, gently blending towards the center just for a seamless look. And I'm also going to hit my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to take this Circa lip liner, and this is in Nude. Again, Circa can be found inside Walgreens. This has been my go-to lip liner lately. And then I'm gonna take the Milani lipstick in Naked. And now I'm gonna take the Rimmel stay matte press powder with this kabuki brush and i am just going to dab this on the places where i tend to get very oily at and this is the finished look not too bad for using drugstore makeup and affordable makeup brushes i will leave a list of all the products i use today as well as the link to the brush set with the coupon code be sure to check out the description box